Hello friends, my name is Taufik and you're watching my channel Graphics Den. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can create new brushes in Photoshop. So let's get started. So in one of my previous videos, I showed you how we can download free Photoshop brushes from internet and use it to create uh, cool designs. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create new brushes. So first of all, I will open some images. I have already opened some images. So make sure that these images make some sense. You cannot se just select any object and it will look good. We have to be precise in our selection. So this is a butterfly. So I'm going to select this butterfly area. So for that, I'm going to use the magic wand tool. So I will select the color and inverse this. So this is the faster way you can directly use quick selection tool and select it. The selection is not that important, but just make sure that the selection is I'm the method of selection is not that important. Just make sure that it is properly selected. So I have selected this. Now simply go to edit and go to define brush preset. So it will create a new brush. Name it whatever you want. So I will name it. Let's say butterfly one, two, three. Okay, so it will pop up in the brush settings. So I had already created this one. So now I have created this one butterfly one, two, three. So click on the butterfly brush. And again, I'm going to use it on a blank document. So whichever color color is selected, it will appear like this. I will create a layer, new layer, just in case if I want to move it like this. Again, if I change the color, it will be like this. And what if you want to add some properties or ch uh, change some properties in this particular brush. So use this option over here, brush setting, or you can simply go to window brush settings, or you can press F5. So these are the brush settings for the selected brush. So we got, we are going to start with the scattering. If you want to scatter the brush, this is the preview we are getting. This is a normal brush. I will reduce the size and show you. So this is the stroke we get usually without applying any properties. So if I alter some of the properties, say I increase the scatter value. If I want to apply these values on both axes, I can check this box, but for now I want it on one axis. So like this count, if I increase, if I want to increase the count and count jitter means count variation like this, but in this case, I'm going to keep it to one and zero. So this is how it looks scatter. So this is the first property scatter and make sure that you click on the word, not on this box, because if you click on this box, I will show you the property will start, but we won't be able to see the properties, the values. So click on this particular word only then you will see the properties or the values over here. So I'm going to increase the scatter value. Again, the second property is shape dynamics, which means, which basically means shape properties. So size jitter, size variation, how much variation do you want? So I want this much variation. And again, if I want to increase the spacing, I can simply go to brush tip shape and increase the spacing like this. Again, I will go to shape dynamics. So this is the variation in size, as you can see. There is variation earlier. If I turn this off, every brush was similar, brush stroke was similar in size. So this is now, this brush stroke now has variations as you can see, smaller, some are, some brush strokes are smaller, some are bigger. So this is the variation and you can also change the minimum diameter. So I'm going to keep it to zero for now. Angle jitter you can change, roundness jitter because in this case the brush is not round so i'm not going to use the rounded jitter that doesn't mean that you can't use it but i'm not going to use it so this is how it looks now only one property remains which is color dynamics so if you want variation in color so i'm going to use this so if i keep this hue value to zero you will get similar result but if i increase the hue value 
I will get variation like this and make sure that's apply per tip option is on otherwise this won't work so if I keep it to zero you don't see any variation and if I keep it as I increase the variation also increases like this so this is the stroke we can use to create designs and one more thing if I go to this image let's say if I go to this image and I will turn this off if I simply draw this in a layer or on a layer rather like this you can clearly see the area with black color is opaque and the rest of the area is not opaque so if you want opaque brush you have to select a black brush I will show you but before that I will show you one more example so I'm going to select this flower using the quick selection tool and I, as I said earlier you can choose whatever selection tool that you want that you feel easier with so I have selected the area once you select the area go to edit again and define brush preset so I will name it flower123 deselect so this is how it looks again I will go to this blank page so this is how it looks but I want to add some properties so I will say the layer is already there so I will go to scattering and remember once you change the brush you have to apply the properties again and again so scatter value according to us again I will increase some spacing like this so it will be scattered and with space then again I will go to shape dynamics to change the variation or give it variation color dynamics the hue value is already higher 100% so it will give us variation in brush so you can use this brush these brushes in our designs there are some really cool designs we can create using this brush and absolutely free so make sure that you select a proper image a really like physically or aesthetically appearing appealing image you can select the last example I will show you now this is a totally black image so if I select this and create a brush out of it then this brush will be totally opaque so I have selected using the magic wand tool I will go to edit define brush wolf123 you can name the brush whatever you want again if I click this now you can as you can see this is totally opaque even if I change the color this is opaque brush so again if I want to apply variation scattering shape dynamics maybe angle and color dynamics so it will look something like this color dynamics now I think yes the white color was on the top that's why it won't that didn't work so make sure that white color isn't on top so it will look something like this and you can create as many brushes that you want and use it in your designs it's absolutely free and as you can see it is very easy to create new brushes in photoshop so that's it for this video if you find this video useful please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in the next video until then bye bye and cheers